Welcome to Mega Path Presents. I'm Ronnie Hayes, and today we're going to talk about the new issue of The Walking Dead comic, issue 176. Before we dive into this issue, though, a couple months ago I ran a story about the announcement that they are going to celebrate 15 years of The Walking Dead comic by releasing a special painting uh, showcasing a character from the story over all these years. Uh, one character per cover per month, so it looks like we're getting 12 in total for 2018. Obviously, that's once a month. And uh, the first one, we already showed Rick. We already showed Michonne. That's 176. And they released, I believe just recently, the images for 177, 8, and 9. 177 has the governor. I'm really digging this look here. They have this um, this art style where it's this blurry realism they're going for. And it's all done by the same artist. I'm not even going to try to butcher his name again. <laughs> I'm going to leave the link to the uh, article down below. And then you can pull the images if you want to use them too. There's also 178 has Andrea. I kind of want her eyes open, maybe closed. It's symbol symbolism for symbolic, I was going to say. I was going to say symbolism and symbolic and I just shit out of my mouth. Anyway... Uh, I really kind of want her eyes open, I feel like. I, I like this. I like this a lot. I don't like the still. I don't like the name in front of the art. I want to see the artwork. I feel like you got all this free space up above. You know, I want to see that whole artwork. I don't know. That Andrea right there really bothers me. <laughs> Too bad they couldn't sell like little prints of these without the, uh, the uh, words on there. Anyhow, uh, I like this one a lot. Another gripe, I kind of wish it had both scars. You guys let me know. What do you think? Do you think both scars or just the one? That one looks brutal, though. But I think Andrea is one of my favorites so far. And then 179 and this one, I'm not feeling it. Something about the face. Kind of looks like a little girl, to be honest, when I first saw this. And uh, his, um, his, you know, gory eye just, uh, I don't know. It just doesn't do it for me. You guys let me know your thoughts and opinions about these covers down in that comment box. Uh, like I said before, they come out every single month. And if you want yours, go to your local comic shop and ask them if they're not ordering enough, pre-order them. That's what I do. I tell my comic shop ahead of time, listen, when the variants come in, you know, put mine aside. And they know if they're ordering, you know, if 20 people want them and they order 20 and then you go to pick them up and there's none there, now they know, okay, so-and-so, you know, Butthead wants his uh, variant cover. They'll hold it for you. And then when you come in, you just say, hey, I'm Butthead. I'm here to pick up my shit, you know? So hunt down a local comic shop. Other than that, hit up eBay. Now, going into 176, the end of 175 had Michonne finding out her daughter is alive. Elodie, I believe her name is, or I believe that's how you pronounce it. <laughs> uh, E-L-O-D-I-E. I think I got that right. Um, she realizes her daughter is possibly alive and at this new community that they discovered. And this issue here, part two of the New World Story Arc, not a lot happens at all. It's just getting a vibe uh, for this community, we hear a little bit more, or we get a little bit more of uh, a look at the roles of the different people in the community. We get to see Stephanie. I almost forgot about Stephanie. And this is an interesting thing because Stephanie, ha Stephanie had the capabilities and the opportunity to get in touch with Eugene uh, for a few days, you know, and she wasn't authorized to do that. So, uh, and there's punishments too. They penalize people for stepping out of line, especially uh, in that situation. So you get a little bit of a peek. It's still very much uncertain uh, who the hell is doing what and who has the power and approval and yada, yada, yada. The only thing we know for certain is we got a look at the leader of this community, or so far we think it's the head honcho. And I did like this part a ton. The leader is called the governor, <laughs> and it is a girl, Pamela Milton. I'm pretty sure that that's what her name was. Milton's definitely her last name. But uh, she said she's the governor, and I love that it was Michonne. Michonne ran into the original gov the governor or the evil, evil governor with uh, Rick and Glenn, and now she's running into this new governor. And it's a completely different vibe. Once Michonne um, revealed that she found out just now that her daughter is alive and living in the Commonwealth, then the, the good governor or the female governor was uh, um, very sympathetic and immediately took her to see her daughter. This is one thing I do really like. And I know there's some fans that have a problem with the coincidental meetup between Michonne and her daughter. 
the distance, the this and the this and the this. And I, for those who have problems with that, I, I understand what you're saying. I definitely understand what you're saying. I like this part though because that is what makes this um, so absolutely incredible. You hear real life situations and stories, uh, even in history. There's some, you know, I can't remember the details, but there's some old history stuff I'd been I, I would read, and you'd find out someone was on a voyage, and you know they were lost from their family forever and there's no chance they're going to see them again and they end up on you know back over here and they run into them and it's just like incredible and it's a one in a million it's like winning the lottery there's no way that should have happened or that meet up or like these things we call miracles uh these are things that like a miracle essentially if you break it down to the you know the it's factual existence as a miracle it's just something that you know rarely or shouldn't happen you know what i'm saying like you flip your truck and it just gets stuck on this little twig everything just miraculously fell into place like an angel didn't come down and stop that truck it was just the way it rolled and the way it landed on that one little twig it just so happened to stop the truck same thing here this is uh, essentially a miracle in the fact that most people won't run into family like this but michonne got the opportunity i do like that i like that a lot and I really like getting the reward. I think this ending, this cliffhanger, instead of The Walking Dead being so dark and dreary, I like this cliffhanger and I often talk about uh, conflict and reward. A lot of Hollywood writing is conflict is king and that is it. And I strongly disagree. I think if you want to study uh, conflict and reward, if you are interested in writing, uh, Game of Thrones is actually excellent in a few different seasons with giving you some really dark shit and then they feed you a, a reward and for a fan uh it, us as fans that stuff is as entertaining sometimes even better and more memorable than the conflicts you know what i'm saying so the reward for us is having uh, this uh, emotional reunion between michonne and her daughter and i thought it was great and it opens up story-wise the possibility of are there other things going on that we don't know about um, obviously coming from Michonne's daughter we're we're immediately gonna believe or most likely we're gonna believe it more uh, her version of what this community is all about if we get it from Stephanie or a stranger or um, anyone really it doesn't even matter. We will always be skeptical, but once we hear it coming from Michonne's daughter that this is a good place, there's like, what's her name said? Stephanie said, there's a few flaws, but this place is on the up and up and yada, yada, yada. Once that comes from Stephanie and it's like, okay, okay, maybe she just doesn't know, you know, what goes on behind the scenes. Like Lily with the original governor, she didn't know all the really dark and twisted shit. She knew some and then some was covered up. When it comes to Stephanie, it could be the same thing. So even though maybe she sees a lot of good shit, we're still skeptical. But when it comes to Michonne's daughter, uh, it's going to be it's more believable for us or easier for us to uh, feel like it's not like we're getting duped. Same thing for the characters in that world. Uh, now, I'm trying to run through real quick. I think that is pretty much it. Like I said, we got a name drop of Mercer. Mercer's on the cover of the next issue, I believe. He's a big uh, buff-looking black dude in the red uniform. The other ones we saw were white uniforms. I did like how it did look kind of gunky. Uh, they had a lot of... Uh, they were fighting a swarm. That's what they call the, the big walkers, uh, the big herd of walkers. And, oh my God, I, I can't remember. What was it? They called it the Mercury Swarm, or um, they gave it a name that led me to believe there was some type of event that happened, and the swarm broke off or started from that event, or, or something came out of that event, and we'll find out about that event later on. Now, about Mercer, you guys can give your uh, opinions and predictions down below. What do you think? I'm kind of feeling like the more predictable route to go is that this Captain Mercer guy, the guy who trains the army at... The Commonwealth is somehow uh, somehow connected with Michonne's daughter, right? That would be the more predictable route to go. Like, let's say it's a boyfriend. Let's say it could be anything. Let's say it could be a new love interest for Michonne. Uh, I mean, it could be anything. There, there's that type of connection there. And uh, that 
brings him into the world of the walking dead into our characters lives or maybe mercer is so important and we're getting the name drop and he's on the cover because if the commonwealth is going to fully trust rick and his group they're gonna have to come back and inspect alexandria this could be the next part of the story the new world uh, story arc they got to see the commonwealth now the commonwealth wants to see alexandria and the communities that they're connected with so maybe the next part of the story is going to, um, did I stutter there? <laughs> maybe the next part of the story is uh, Mercer leading a small group back with um, Michonne and some of the others. And maybe Michonne stays back, maybe goes with Eugene uh, back to Rick and them. I think that would be an interesting take. They got this armor, maybe they even bring like a small little uh, mini army with them of a dozen you know, soldiers. They probably really only need you know, six or eight people, but let's say they bring them there, uh, some other stuff pops off, I'm not sure, I think it would be, it would have been nice to still have Beta and a few Whispers floating around, and then when the uh, soldiers got there, we can have another little scuffle, ah, that would have been interesting, but you guys let me know what you think about this issue, I thought it was a good one, uh, and it's definitely one of those where, yes, we wait month to month for it, there's not a lot here to sink our teeth into, I do like their reunion, and I am interested to get more, a lot more uh, material from the Commonwealth and see what that is all about and what direction The Walking Dead is going after that. I think that's one of the most, or the absolute most important part of this. What's The Walking Dead um, turning into after this? You guys know how I feel. I hope, I hope, hope, hope The Walking Dead is keeps going down this path of progression towards you know bigger communities and civilizations but also take the story over to the side and have many stories that take place in a world that is uh, not discovered yet you know it's full of walkers it's all overgrown it, did you notice when they went to commonwealth it was for uh, the first time in the longest time except for those little areas uh, back in alexandria and the hilltop and stuff like that the Commonwealth, when they walked in, it was huge, clean areas, and it looked like a thriving community again, a cleaned up, you know, existing, thriving community uh, as compared to the overgrown vines and weeds and uh, broke down houses and cars and all that crap of the post-apocalyptic world. But I still wish, or I'm still hoping The Walking Dead can capture the essence from both the old of the walking dead because we're never getting that back all the way but i hope they capture the old um and what made the walking dead so great and also continue to explore this uh, more established civilization type story and i think the last thing we should cover before we end it so yeah it was an okay issue there was you know no huge bombshells we didn't get a lot of reveals with the commonwealth it's one of those where you gotta uh you need to um you need to play out the storyline because if you would have jumped to something that was insane in action, it would be it would be a jumbled mess because you need that introduction, you know, uh, with the new characters. So I think that was actually it. Uh, oh yeah, you know what? Thoughts and opinions also on how you feel about this not making it into the show. Do you want a reunion similar to this? Would it be okay if it was a, a newer character or a character that's not as big and, and as important as Michonne? What if it was Sadiq? What if Sadiq on the show got a little role where he had a reunion? Uh, I think that it's interesting and it's always a good idea to keep the um, keep it open, you know, that we could possibly have a reunion like this on the show when we get to this point in the story. I think Morgan would be a good, uh, for now, we don't know how the story's going to unfold in Fear of the Walking Dead, but I'm just thinking real quick. Fear of the Walking Dead is going to time jump and take place after the events in All Out War. Then when um, the Walking Dead returns again and they do this new beginning story arc and then they come back for the next season where we get this Commonwealth community uh, or season or two, whatever, depends on what you know what amount of story they fill in, uh, in the middle there. Uh, then we can get a reunion with Morgan back at Carol, you know, growing a friendship and a bond with Morgan. She can have a, a little reunion. But then again, we... We, we, we lose the sign thing. We get a reunion. We get a character we know and trust and we hear about the community. But I think that the most uh, emotional and impactful part is the sign. And I kind of am disappointed now. 
uh, looking back that the show did what it did with Michonne and had it had her uh, lose a baby instead of uh, what the comic did because uh, on the show I think that could have been an incredible reunion. So now looking at it, what character would you like to see, if any, have this type of reunion? All right, thoughts and opinions down there. I'm done talking. All right, thoughts and opinions down in the comment box. I'm done talking. It's your turn.